This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Solex D50 padlock. Though it says USA right here on the lock body, I believe the lock is actually made in Thailand. If you watch my channel regularly, you may recall that I recently featured another Solex lock, this Type CO shutter lock in video number 808. I did have a positive impression of this lock, and in particular, I noted the fit and finish, which probably rivals anything in the world. If you're interested in seeing that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. This D50 padlock shares that excellent fit and finish. Unfortunately, the core is not nearly as good. The core is, however, unusual. We have two rows of pins, and they're controlled with this double-bladed key. And this lock works very smoothly, no issues there. This intimidating core combined with a ball bearing locking mechanism, a molybdenum alloy shackle, and the excellent finish rounds out what appears to be a very nice lock. Unfortunately, it can probably be picked open by a novice picker. So let's start with single pin picking. I'm going to use top of the keyway tension and a standard hook in 18 thousandths. Start on the right bank of pins. Nothing on one, two, okay, three is binding. Got a click out of him. Nothing on four, going back to the beginning. Nothing on one, two. Click out of three again. Nothing on four, back to the beginning, number one. Nothing there. Two, another click there, a lot of movement on the core. Nothing on three or four. Let's check the other side. Nothing on one. Nothing on, oh, oh there we go. Number two. Okay, two is binding. Got a click there. And we open this up. So of the eight pins, I believe we only picked three or four of them. I didn't feel any security pins and the tolerance has actually felt very sloppy. Sloppy tolerances often make for locks that are easy to rake. So let's see if this lock is susceptible to this low skill attack. I'm going to use top of the keyway tension again and then get one of my wave rakes. Okay, I'm raking on the right side. Now let's move over to the left. Yep, and just that fast we got it open. It's really unfortunate that a lock that got so much right fell short in this one important area. This is a lock in which a little attention to the core really could have paid dividends. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.